Marcus Agrippa lived from 63 BCE to 12 BCE. He is one of the earliest best-known Pyrrhonist skeptics for his trilemma. Agrippa's trilemma essentially says this. All epistemic justification is inferential. Any chain of supporting reasons must be infinite, circular, or start with beliefs that are not inferentially justified. A belief cannot be justified by an infinite regress of reasons. A belief cannot be justified by a circular chain of reasons. A belief cannot be justified by a chain of reasons that begins with beliefs that are not inferentially justified. Thus, no belief can be justified. About 200 years later, Agrippa's argument would be taken up and expanded by another great skeptic, Sextus Empiricus, who lived from 160 CE to 210 CE. He said this. The later skeptics hand down five modes leading to suspension of belief, namely these. The first based on discrepancy, the second on regress ad infinitum, the third on relativity, the fourth on hypothesis, and the fifth on circular reasoning. That based on discrepancy leads us to find that with regard to the object presented there has arisen both amongst ordinary people and amongst the philosophers an interminable conflict because of which we are unable either to choose a thing or reject it, and so fall back on suspension. The mode based upon regress ad infinitum is that whereby we assert that the thing adduced as a proof of the matter proposed needs a further proof and this again another, and so on ad infinitum, so that the consequence is suspension, as we possess no starting point for our argument. The mode based upon relativity, as we have already said, is that whereby the object has such or such an appearance in relation to the subject judging and to the concomitant per sex, but as to its real nature we suspend judgment. We have the mode based on hypothesis when the dogmatists, being forced to recede ad infinitum, take as their starting point something which they do not establish by argument but claim to assume as granted simply and without demonstration. The mode of circular reasoning is the form used when the proof itself which ought to establish the matter of inquiry requires confirmation derived from that matter, in which case, being unable to assume either in order to establish the other, we suspend judgment about both. If this is right, no belief can ever be justified. Good luck sleeping tonight, and thanks for watching, look for a poser on YouTube.